you are interested in content of this presentation, you will access access in this lecture portal. Okay, it's open open access. Okay. Next paper is about media literacy. Media literacy for an inclusive knowledge society. Informational indicators. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. Let's talk about another important concept in knowledge society. Not only to be taught, but even uh, to be measured. So this is why we are talking about main indicators in the knowledge society for media literacy. Okay. Later in the 20th century, a new wave transformed the concept. Electric media, uh, let us talk about individual literacy. Later, the introduction of computer and digital media, uh, and digital media, let us talk about digital literacy. What happens nowadays? Nowadays, is a participatory culture, an unstoppable media convergence has led to a multidimensional media literacy concept. Okay? So, the new concept is understood as the ability to access media, to understand and critically evaluate different aspects of media content and to create. It should be said that media literacy is a dynamically evolving concept and its interpretation is widely influenced by cultural, technological, and generational changes. Because of that, the importance of media literacy. In 2009, a consortium was created in the European Union, conducted by the European <laughs> Union, but by the uh, European Association for Viewers and Interest of Viewers, called EABI, Minister de la Educación Nacional Francés, Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona, Université Catholique de Louvain, and the University of which was the, the, the work of the consortium. The consortium strives to generate the necessary global and organic perspective of media literacy, identifying basically two main dimensions, as we can see, individual competencies and environmental factors. Okay? So we have the result, uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Furthermore, when we try to define and conceptualize media literacy, other elements may, may be considered, as we can see in this table. We are not going to see it, all of them. In this figure, we have three elements remaining related to the media literacy found in European Strategy 20 and 20. These three main dimensions for media literacy are participation and active and active citizenship, critical and creative abilities and skills, and at last, media education. This is why we are analyzing this uh, issue, because of the necessity of education in this field. Even though the purpose of this paper is not focused on the European stakeholders, it's worth to mention the important contribution of the United Kingdom to develop, research, and measure the media literacy. In this regard, we put the stress on this work. 
that studied three different dimensions for media literacy. The first dimension, access, that integrate, use, navigate, and manage. The second dimension, understand, that integrates, read, deconstruct, and evaluate. And the third one, that integrates, produce, distribute, and publish. Another interesting contribution is the contribution of the Australian Communication and Media Authority, ACMA, that was created to undertake a branch of activity that support or promote digital media literacy, recognizing that the complexity of the changing communications and media environment requires new regulatory. ACMA focuses on four different dimensions. As we can see, access to digital media, use and understand digital media platforms and services, creation of digital content and critical competencies. If we pay attention, we can see the relations between the next focus, UNESCO. We can see like ACMA and UNESCO have quite similar dimension in their study. But anyway, <coughs> UNESCO go further. So, the UNESCO presented in 2008 the ICT competency framework and features focusing on ICT in education, but later make it bigger, multidimensional. In 2011, UNESCO went further with the AMI curriculum, which was the, 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 the most important point. The most important point was that UNESCO enriched the concept, constituting integrating all different literacies needed in the network society to be literate. What is a literate person in the 21st century? This is a literate person. UNESCO created the MIL ecosystem that integrates media literacy, advertising literacy, news, television, cinema games, all the branch of necessities in the digital society. Summarizing, <laughs> having in mind everything exposed before, it could be said that the need to tackle new media literacy has been recognized from different contexts. Policy and international organizations has developed as we have seen it. There is a special concern that still remains. The difficulty of measuring media literacy and the difficult establishment of proper ind indicators due the dynamic and dimensional nature of the conflict of the concept. In this respect, it seems essential to review and study these changing indicators from the fight of research in order to help policymakers and education and educators to build a real competitive and prepared digital citizen in the 21st century. I hope you really agree with me. Thank you for your attention.